become a great group leader, I think it's a very difficult issue. It, it's called the Peter's Principle as far as I know. <laughs> so you are you become a group leader because you are very good in doing experiments and thinking about mm -hmm. in a way that experiments have a higher chance of being a success. And then you go to a position where you're not necessarily good at you know, I like being a postdoc a lot, and so I thought being a f research fellow would just be like being a postdoc, and so I was a little bit, I uh, hadn't really thought about the more practical and organisational parts of being a group leader. So one thing I wish someone had told me actually is how hard the first few years of being a group leader is, because you have to be your best postdoc, your group leader, and a lab technician, and maybe a couple of other jobs as well. To my opinion, the prospect of being group leader begins when you are still a postdoc. And probably at the end of your postdoc, you have to you know, force yourself of thinking behind your postdoc and what you're going to do afterwards. Mm -hmm. And find you know, a new niche or you know, new topic to, to discover. And uh, obviously, there's, uh, the other critical thing is to find money to set up your own. And so if you are, you know, a higher in the best university in the world with a huge amount of startup packages, that's relatively easy. But not every uh, university in the world has a huge startup package. And in, in the university I choose to go, uh, actually, there was no startup package at all. So, but this question of environment is important, right? Do you, yeah. one could choose the best university in the world with yeah. lots of money, but this not might not be the best place, A, to do your science and B, to be authentic again. Exactly. So finding the right environment, finding the right colleagues, uh, finding the right uh, research equipment that can help you is also mm. critical, right? Certainly. So what would you advise PhD yeah. <laughs> students, postdocs? I think the first advice, if you ask me, mm. is that they have to realize one important thing that you cannot do, you cannot be a group leader in a nine to five job. So then maybe this point relates to my uh, piece of advice, um, which is about finding something that you love and that you, you want to know the answer, more or less independent of nine till five. I yeah. mean, it has to be, I completely agree. So if you love it and you care about it, then you, can, you no commit issue. to it and then that doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. The no. advice of not working nine to five is, is totally true for the group leader, but it's totally true also for the postdoc and for mm -hmm. the PhD student. Yeah. Science is all about dedication and, and, and works. So. On the other hand, science is really cool. Mm. As I said, it's a hobby for me personally. Mm -hmm. You meet very interesting people. Uh, it's exciting, especially in the biomedical area nowadays, because it's exploding. So it's beautiful to be part of it. I fully agree with you that it's cool, but unfortunately it's not everybody. Every day, very good. And there's no, days no. that are extremely frustrated. Sure. And, and I think science is also a huge resistance to the frustration. To the so frustration. they should be prepared for that. Yes. Yeah. So, but maybe a career in science is like having, it's, any, it's like any relationship. It will not be perfect all the time. The ups and the downs will be there. And sometimes the downs will be extremely low, yeah. but the highs will be extremely high. Yeah. And uh, the pleasure of uh, discovery is the thing that uh, keeps us going, I think. Sure.